Peter, it's obviously been a little while. First of all, how are you? And you must be really pleased to be back. Yeah, I'm, I'm well and, and, and glad to be back. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a long 10 days of isolation, but, um, but it was needed to be done. And uh, but just glad to be back and, and out in the fresh air now. Uh, the boys did you very proud in your absence. Firstly, in the FA Cup fourth qualifying with Leiston and then a very good point on the road at Wrexham. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's about character. I think we've shown... You know, we've shown throughout the season already. We've obviously with our opening day uh, defeat that we've come back and shown character against Dagenham, and then the boys have shown it again in the FA Cup and again on Tuesday with having so many players out and away. Um, we've 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 shown the right sort of character and the right sort of spirit. So so that's moving in the right direction, and now we need to add our consistency and performances to go with it. I mean, the situation's been far from ideal, but do you think it's almost brought? the group a little bit closer together in some ways in terms of mentally? Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, like I said, I mean, obviously everyone's been quite concerned about everybody because of those that have had it and, and been away with it. Um, and uh, obviously there was lots of praise going around for the players that played at Leicester, especially uh, with so many young players playing there. Um, I think the, the senior players had, they already had appreciation for the young players, but even more so with going up there on a, on a long trip um, in tough conditions as well by the looks of it. Um, and getting the result they did, I think that you know that, that commands more respect from the senior players, and and they do it does bring everybody closer together. FA Cup action on Sunday in a, a nice tie against the League One side would be an exciting game. What's your thoughts on that one? Well, it's an opportunity for us to to put pit ourselves against a League One club, uh, which is obviously an ideal opportunity for us. It's a it's not a free hit as such, but it's one that we can go there and play open and freely and, and try and express ourselves. But but for us, for the staff, it's more, uh, more about a, a progression. Uh, we want to we want to try and get back into some sort of momentum and some sort of rhythm. Um, obviously, we had a little bit of that with the sort of last hour at Notts County going into the Weymouth game, where we we should have won it far more comfortably than we did, and then obviously we got a little bit of disruption. So uh, so we're hoping to get back to some sort of normality with and start to gain a little bit more momentum again. Burton near the bottom of League One, but they've come into a bit of form recently, a few draws, notably against top of league Peter. Mm. What kind of game are you expecting from them? I well, was expecting a tough game. I mean, a couple of seasons ago, we played Fleetwood, went to Fleetwood and, uh, and got a, you know, a respectable draw out of the game, but we were pegged back for long parts of that game. Um, and I, and you know, I think that we're, we're more than equipped to, to give them a few problems. But they're going to be obviously. You know, they're used to playing at a far higher level week in, week out. So they'll be they'll be ready and they'll be organised. And uh, but so they'll throw lots of different challenges for us. But the main one is obviously the fact that you know we're two leagues below them, and and uh, they're going to be. You just thought they would have you know better players, and, and they'll be better organised. And um, but we'll but we'll see. Like I said, it's a it's on the day again. And if we have the right character and the right, you know, we can get the right performance out of the players. Then who knows? On the whole, for the last two games. Does that give you a few more selection headaches going into this one? Because there's, there's plenty of options at your disposal. Yeah, of course. I mean, Steve obviously came back singing the praises of all the players that played in the game at Leicester and the one at Wrexham on the Tuesday. Um, and it's nice now that everyone's back, barring a couple. Um, we've got a few niggly little things. Um, so we've got a full squad to choose from. And it's up to us now to make sure we put out the strongest team we can. Um, because again, like I said, we want to we want to try and gain gather some momentum now and, and build up. We know we've got uh, Sunday, Saturday, and then we start going into midweek games again pretty quick. So so we want to try and, and gain some momentum. So we just need to have everybody firing. Uh, we want everybody to have that that um, urgency about having competition for places, uh, which we have now. I mean, Eamon's come in and proven that he's you know more than capable of filling in for Scott if he's not if he's not fit or not doing the right job. So, like I said, so there's competition around for every position now, barring a couple, um, and we're trying, to, we're trying to remedy that sort of these next couple of weeks. But, um, but yeah, it, gives it, it does make it a little bit tougher because you, you feel for the players that you may have to leave out or, you know, and, uh, but that's, that's what I'm here to do. Mohamedou Fowles recently just joined on loan from Bolton Wanderers. Mm. Certainly gives you another option in the attacking department. Yeah, he does. I mean, we've, Josh has had a little bit of a niggle um, for a couple of weeks now. He, he had a little bit at the start of the season, then came back, and then I think maybe putting the strain on was too much for him uh, in them games. Expecting him to play them games after such a such a long layoff, um, and he's got a small tweak in his hamstring now, um, which which won't be won't be too much longer. We're hoping he'll be back for Bromley, um, 
But again, you know, Mo brings us another different, another element to the team. Um, he's someone a little bit different to the other forwards we've already got here. Uh, so it's so it's nice to have them options. So it's, uh, and we're looking forward to to getting him in and and uh, and working with him and and looking to you know get him out on the pitch and and get some game under his belt. Just lastly, you mentioned it. Thereafter, this weekend we're going to quite a big run of Saturday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. midweeks in the National League. A real chance to build momentum, and how crucial is that next month going to be fixtures wise? I mean, because we've played so little uh, over the last couple of weeks, I think the next month is is it's almost like a, another pre-season almost, where we're we're trying to build that momentum like we were leading up to the first excuse me the first month of the season. Um, so we've had a little bit of a layoff and we had a little bit of disruption, but now we want to use the game on Sunday as a springboard to, to bounce into some sort of momentum. And then obviously the games come thick and fast then, so you'd like to think that the players will have you know, uh, got their cobwebs out of their system, uh, got some momentum back and got some rhythm back and, uh, and, and they'll be looking to, to kick on again from the positive performances we've had just before the break.